Hello, Zero K fans. Welcome to Nanalaze at Dawn. This is Shadow Fury 333 with a match between Marquis and North Chilean G to start us off. And it is on Rapids, a map which, if you're not that excited about it, I can kind of understand. It is a very amphib focus. Well, amphib and gunship usually tends to be the focus, but nowadays amphib is the focus everywhere, so it's not that special. However, North Chilean G and Marquis are both apparently. Well, North Chilean G going for amphib. Marquis is going for hovercraft. Interesting choice. Hovercraft has a much harder time pathing around this map than Amphib does, so I'm not entirely sure what the rationale there is, but it is something. I'm fairly certain the North Chilean G is starting out with an advantage just by being able to go around wherever they like. Marquis, on the other hand, I mean, they have... They didn't get down the hill without too much issues. It's just assaulting North Chilean G's base is going to be very difficult. Just look at what kind of pathing they have. Like, all that purple. There's like one ramp here, sort of, that allows them up, and that's kind of it. Oops. So I don't think Marquise is going to have an easy time here. Going immediately for Dagger Scalpel, which makes sense. I mean, Scalpels are super powerful right now. Very popular units as well, but mostly because of their power. North Chilean G, on the other hand, going for Scallop and Duck, which on this map makes perfect sense, since they're the only Amphib units that can attack from underwater. Everything else has to surface to fire, those don't. But against Hovercraft, doesn't make much of a difference. At this point, Markeev's... I'm not sure if they're realizing just how big of a problem this is. I should also point out, this is actually, I think, the third or fourth in a series of games these, these two players played. Didn't feel like going through all of them, but... They were playing a bunch of games. These, This one and the next one are the last couple games they played. I'm not entirely sure who was winning before it. Well, before in all those games, but yeah, just worth pointing out. So at this point, at least Marquis is able to defend themselves just fine. It's just at the point that they actually need to start doing any proper assaulting, they're going to have to switch to gunships. Or possibly air. Or possibly go amp as well. Possibly just fight, amp, fight water with water, I guess. But for the moment, nope, just pure scalpel. Which, like I said, will be fine defensively. It's just the offensive aspect is going to be a bit neutered, unfortunately. Surprisingly, though, neither player really expanding that quickly. I mean, North Chilean G's taking the center now. But really, both players are being rather timid and staying inside their base. Marquis makes sense. They can't easily move around. But North Chilean G, they pretty much have the map at this point. There's not much that Marquis can do that's really going to threaten them. I'm not entirely sure what the motivation is here, but I guess it's just a matter of being sure that you're not going to screw up and get everything killed. Which isn't a bad thing. You never want to get anything killed for no good reason. Like, things should die for a reason if they're going to die. And, yeah, there's not much point. So Marquis is starting to expand a bit, but both players are running a pretty low metal. Now, mind you... This is a pretty famine map. This isn't a map with a whole lot of metal on it, like two metal around the map, and some three point, like a 3.3 in the center, the rest of it's all two, and there's like five that any one player can sort of take, really four that a single player can take without too much risk, and six they can take that's kind of splitting the map. So yeah, when you're talking about 12-ish metal on the map, it's kind of difficult to expand. So I can see that. But it's just, I'm pointing out, compared to what I've seen in this map before, like, it's a little unusually slow from what I'm used to watching. But then again, I haven't seen this map played in a long time. So Marquis, only a couple of metal per second behind North Chilean G at this point. And where North Chilean G is, is actually not that protected. Scalpels can easily rush in there and deal with it. Scallop from North Chilean G, able to defend somewhat, but once these scalpels get in, that will be pretty much death for this area. Like... And they will get hit from this defender set. And then after that, it's not going to go too well for Marquis units. However, yeah, so Marquis units, I was right the first time, because that's North Chilean G going in the water with the scallops, making Marquis regret that they ever went hover. Getting the Claymore after the Halberd, that Claymore will be very handy, but that's still going to take about 20 seconds to get to. No, 30 seconds, sorry. So it's going to take a little while to get to. That's a problem. That's a big problem. And I'm not sure if 
Marquis realizes at this point just how big a problem this has been. Like, how much of the problems has been just because Hovercraft really doesn't do well in this map. I still don't understand the motivation for going Hovercraft. I think scalpels were why, because scalpels are really powerful, but yeah, they can't hit underwater. And the Claymore is done, so at least that's something, but still, scalpels can't hit underwater. So that really doesn't help that much. Now, attempt number two to try to take out North Chilean G's base. Actually, going for the main base first, which isn't a terrible idea, but also... Mostly because that pro that front base is really where Marquis shouldn't really focus. Like, North Chilean G has the center pretty well defended. So Marquis focusing on the main base makes some sense, just because there isn't much... There isn't much opposition in the main base. But at the same time, it's pretty much impossible for them to get anywhere. With hovercrafts, like, they just don't really have much of a shot of getting anywhere. Which kind of sucks, but, yeah, they're stuck, kind of. But I think at this point, North Chilean G is probably going to end up just holding the center area, using that slight increase in metal, and then building a large army, probably going for a Grizzly to finish things off. And here goes Marquis with big attack, try to finish this all off, but I don't think it's going to work too well. Let's go to a radar. How much radar does North Chilean G have anyway? Okay, so North Chilean G at this point still has sufficient radar to see what's going on. It looks like they have radar coverage of basically the entire map, actually. So despite losing that radar, they didn't actually lose much in the way of radar coverage, which is strange. Really? Apparently. I don't even see their radar coverage. Well, at any rate, this is probably going to do Marquis in. North Chilean G with the scallop attack in the main base. One scallop in the main base. Taking this all out. That's weird. Should have a health bar on it. Well, no matter, it's... That's the factory down, and I think Marquis is probably going to throw in the towel at this point. Yeah, I... I don't know. This map is just weird. I'm not a big fan of this map, so... I just wanted to see if anything had really changed in the way it was played out, and Hovercraft is no different, that's for sure. Amphib is still powerful, Hovercraft is still next to useless. Marquis isn't done yet, but they need to get air units or something. That's the only way they have to actually deal damage to North Chilean G. Also, why they're reclaiming right now is beyond me. They can't use this. Like, they can't lose it. It's in their main base. But they're wasting all that metal. Where's the commander? Okay. Okay. Getting Amphib. Getting Amphib. That I can understand. That's a pretty wise idea. But even with that, I don't know. That still seems to be a little bit questionable. I mean, they, they'll get that build. It'll be fine. But... Yeah, it's, at this point, they don't have the metal to really deal with the army coming in. Even if their commander helps out, which doesn't look like it will, actually. It's not going to assist this at all, so that's even worse. Okay, getting some conscious to help assist. I guess that works, sort of, but it's not great. So yeah, Marquis not in a particularly healthy spot right now. North Chilean G surprisingly not expanding across... The Why are they not expanding across the map? They have this map. It's theirs. It belongs to them. They can just set up metal extractors everywhere. Get, like, plus 25 metal base. I don't know why they're not doing that. That's really bizarre. Oh, sorry, not playing, from where they are, it's like plus 30, actually. From all the overdrive they have. But yeah, that just makes no sense to me. I don't understand why North Chilean G is being so locked up in their base. Like, is there something I'm missing? They have defenses everywhere. They pretty much see everything. They know where everything is. The only thing they don't really have is... I guess a massive assault force? And Marquis isn't even building. What the heck is Marquis doing? 
Yeah, that was weird. They they weren't building at all, and that's pretty much going to cost them the game. No, honestly, like, North Chilean G has a massive army. Marquis would need to assist with everything they have in order to possibly catch up. And even then have to win favorable engagements every time. Like, this game is over. Marquis, I'm not sure what you were planning on doing with that amphib plant, but... It wasn't... I'm sure it wasn't nothing. But that's unfortunately all that's been accomplished. The only thing that Marquis has going for them is the fact that North Chilean G has pretty much just locked themselves down to the center. And hasn't expanded around the map at all. So Marquis does have the potential to get their economy going really strongly. If they really set this up and actually assist build and everything, which they're not really doing. If they were to do that and expand and just generally get around the map and generally build everything else that they need to, then yeah, that would work really well. It doesn't appear that they're actually trying to do so, but if they did, that would work out quite nicely. See, I'm not really sure what the motivation here is. But it looks like it's not going to work out too well, sadly. Hmm. Granted, Marquis is expanding. So, there is a chance these duck attacks can be stopped then. That's actually something. Because if the duck attacks stop, or get stopped, and Marquis expands around the map, and North Chilean G doesn't send two dozen ducks in to deal with everything that's on the map and thus completely stuffs Marquis' plans, which is exactly what's going to happen, so never mind. But you know, if that didn't happen, it'd be okay. But it is happening, so it's not as okay. Well, it looks like that's pretty much that, so I don't know what else to say at this point. There's kind of it. Marquis with one last ditch attempt to, re to expand everywhere, being completely stuffed by these ducks. And that should be the assault force to finish things off. Both players building grizzlies. North Chilean G is definitely going to get theirs done first. They have assist construction, every they have everything they have pouring into their factory. Marquis has just the factory. Commander about to go down, and that will basically spell the end of the game. Well, the Riot Cannon doing a pretty decent job of keeping it alive. And, oh, okay, not bad, actually, managing to keep the commander alive throughout that. That's a lot of metal. That's a huge amount of metal. Look at all the, how much reclaim is this? That's 500 metal reclaim. That's a quarter of the cost of this grizzly being built, but it's still 500 metal. It's faster than it would have been otherwise if it gets assist built, which it doesn't seem to be. That doesn't seem to be a priority. The grizzly for North Chilean G just about done. The Grizzly for Marquis is not just about done, so in both cases, yeah, it's not working out too well, sadly, for Marquis, once again. North Chilean G in a bit of a better spot right now. In a considerably better spot right now, in all honesty. This center, Max, like, this center area has just been so lucrative. Like, plus 5.3 on the plus 3.3 metal extractor. And yeah, Skazi pointing out, the map is awful. Yes, yes it is. I, honestly, there was some replay bugs. Like, I was, there was a lot of replays I wanted to do, but they weren't loading for something. Either they hadn't gotten on the server or something had broken. I couldn't download them. It was really weird. Next match, feeling G, but it will be on something better. Oh, Iceland, yeah. It'll be on Iceland, which is a much better map. This is actually... How long is this match supposed to take? Oh, okay. I'm actually curious if this map was designed for 0k. I really doubt it. I'm pretty sure it was designed for something other than 0k. And that's one of the reasons why it plays weirdly. And hey, Grizzly's up. Yay for Grizzly. Well, that's pretty much North Chilean G's death blow. Once that's done and out, that will basically do... Still three minutes left? Sheesh.
A lot of time left for that to finish up. I think that's... I don't think that's game. That's game. That's been game for a long time. There's really not much to say about that. It's It's been game for some time now. Just waiting on North Chilean G to go... Nope. Done. And throw in the towel. Oh, sorry, Marky was a throw in the towel, not North Chilean G. Which should be about now, because it's going to be two shots for the factory to go down. The Grizzly itself might tank some of that. Yeah, it'll tank some of it, not much of it. And of course the ducks around the back will finish everything else off. Why are you attacking the Grizzly? It's two shots, like, it's 2,000 damage, or 1,500 damage shots. Three shots on the factory and it's dead. Hey, 22 seconds left. Assist building would have been nice. Because then the Grizzly would be up and fighting back. Yeah, that's game. That's game. Like, one more Grizzly shot will take out the factory and take out the commander. Or, sorry, two more Grizzly shots to take out the factory. Another shot to take out the commander. That doesn't matter. That's game. So, yeah, that was that. Let's move on to Iceland. Just... Hovercraft do not path well on this map. I'm sorry. Hovercraft are useless on Rapids. If you're gonna play in Rapids, never play Hovercraft. Ever. They can't attack well. They can't defend especially well. If there's one map that you're not have to, gonna have to worry about scalpels on, it is Rapids. Anyway, moving on, let's go to, like I said, Iceland. Mark used North Chilean G again, but on Iceland this time. 